16 minutes past nine. The Home Secretary will announce new protest laws today that will give the police the power to arrest demonstrators using face coverings and will make it an offence to carry pyrotechnics at marches. The new measures are all going to be introduced as part of the Criminal Justice Bill. It also includes a potential three-month prison sentence for climbing on war memorials. But do we need it? Still with us is The Sun columnist Trevor Kavanagh and joining us from Sheffield is the Just Stop Oil campaigner, Dr Bing Jones. Uh, Dr Jones, do you have concerns about these new powers? Will they stop you from causing mass disruption in future? Yes, I've got enormous concerns about these, these uh, moves. Look, we're, we're just not paying attention. We're, we're ignoring a massive, massive problem and instead we're talking about people climbing on <clears throat> war memorials uh, and wearing face masks. But do, do, do these people not take... It's been a hard-run take... fight. Yeah, it's Doctor, been a sorry. really hard-run fight to, ha to have the power to protest and the, and the powers of free speech. These are hard-won things. And we've got a government that's obviously failing and that's just doing what failing governments always do, which is to try to demonise people and blame other people. This, this is not about climbing on war memorials and wearing face masks. This is an attempt to stop all protests. And the most worrying thing about this bill <clears throat> is the fact that it removes the defence of protest <clears throat> when you're in a court of law. That's really worrying. But do you, uh, not think, do you not think that protesters clambering all over war memorials, which many people find deeply offensive and disrespectful, actually detracts from the point of a protest, the right to free assembly and to make your voice heard in a civil way? I, I'm not interested in climbing on war memorials. Nobody wants to upset people uh, unnecessarily. And, and, and hardly anybody has climbed on any war memorials. People, hardly anybody's wearing face masks or setting off fireworks. This is a government ploy to avoid talking about the fact that they are increasing the dangers to the to 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 the climate and <clears throat> it's a ploy to stop them uh, appearing to be clamping down on free speech this is a slippery slope is and this, it's really really sad trevor is this uh, an infringement on, on freedom of speech well i think that uh, this isn't freedom of speech this is bullying these uh, marches are not uh, peaceful demonstrations in the sense that uh, they are uh, following the law. Uh, there, there are lots of laws that could already be brought into play on well, this. So this is, a, is this law, uh, or this new bill, solving a problem that doesn't really exist because we've already got the tools to solve the problem in the first place? I think so. I think there are lots of... I mean, just taking, for example, breach of the peace. When you block roads and stop ambulances getting to hospital and people getting to work and going about their lawful business, that would qualify as a breach of the peace, which is a traditional... Uh, measure which the uh, police have at their disposal and have done for decades, if not, sorry, centuries, uh, they have uh, ample power within that law already. And the, bi the big problem with bringing in new laws like this is that the police will ignore them or, in or enact them in a way which is like pushing on a piece of string. Nothing will happen as a result of this. Very few people, I suspect, will end up in court as a result. Well, Dr Jones, these new laws, what impact, if any, would they have on the type of demonstration that you take part in? They're, they're not going to work, are they? We're facing an absolutely terrible situation. <laughs> the top of the BBC's website today is talking about the fact that we've already breached 1.5 degrees. We're Dr. Jones, sorry, I, the, the debate we're trying to have is, uh, is how protests pressed. should be uh, executed rather than uh, the specific thing you'd be protesting about. Uh, in your ability to exercise your freedom of speech and go out and demonstrate, will these new laws have any impact on that? Well, I, I disagree with you. I think that these laws are about trying to stop people from protesting. No, it's not going to make any difference at all. People will go on being moral and being concerned about what's really, really important, and they won't be put off by a failing government trying to be, um, trying to get more votes. Look, we've got record after record after record being broken. Ordinary people are not stupid. They, they, ordinary people can see that there are floods, that there are fires, uh, that there are exceptional things happening all the time. And you can't just go on making more and more laws to try to solve the climate crisis. Ordinary people are, can, can see it. I'm a doctor. I've been spent my life trying to look after people. 
And <clears throat> we've got a government here that seems to be ignoring what seems to me like, like a, almost like a cancer. Well, the, the climate is a kind of a cancer. And what they're saying is ignore it. Don't do anything about it. Just go on living your life. No, I, I, I'm not just saying you have a right to peaceful protests, but don't cause disruption, don't stand on war memorials, don't mask yourself up and then commit mischief whilst you're on these marches. Just stop oil. And all climate activists generally are ordinary people. They don't set off fireworks and climb on war memorials and, and put masks on. We're willing to, to stand up for what we believe and, and people go to court go to prison even but th these are moral ordinary people doing what should be done look our king has got cancer and the people have been saying it's really good that he's been diagnosed early we have got the most massive problem with the climate and we're not dealing with it and instead, we're just trying to blame mm. people who are trying to get the message across. Dr. It's Jones, let me just bring in disaster. Trevor very quickly, because this is the second time, Trevor, we've had a campaigner on the programme that says the frustration for them is that they want the government to be taking the issue they're campaigning about more seriously than a crackdown on protest. Yes, I mean, it's quite dismaying to listen to someone like Dr Bing rambling on about things which have absolutely nothing to do with the point that we're trying to discuss here. Whether or well, not I mean, people it's should be able to... It's very important. Well, I know he does, but uh, these, this is what the sort of protesters' movement, they think they're given some sort of divine right to bring the whole country to a halt, to achieve an absolutely unachievable objective, which is to stop oil, so to stop us using energy. Well, and what the Home Secretary wants to do today is to make it more difficult to have most disruptive protests. We have to leave it there. Trevor, thank you so much. Dr Bing Jones, really appreciate your time from Just Stop Oil. That is it from us today that's all we've got time for david bull and sarah houston will be here though from six o'clock tomorrow